everyone, my name is Yuan Zhen. I'm a PhD student at the Department of Applied Economic from National Zhongxin University in Taiwan. It's my pleasure to be here and share to share with you my research finding. I'm going to talk with you with about my research title, Analyze the Consumption Demand of Meat and the Fishery Products in Taiwan. Due to time constraints, I can only brief my, briefly summarize my whole study. I'd like to give, me, give me my presentation according to the online showing this slide. So, this presentation will be divided, divided into three parts. First, uh, I will start of my giving give me you the background and the motivation of of my study. Then I go go on to the outline the research method used. At least I'd like to highlight some of the significant result in I results I have found. In introduction, with Taiwanese economy growing, the the increase of personal income and the change of people's demand for meat has been increased year by year. According to the Ministry of Agriculture Food Balance Sheet, in 2017, pork was the primary, primary meat consumed with an annual per capita consumption of 36 kilograms and the poultry consumption was at 34 kilograms. However, in 2018, poultry consumption increased to 30, 38 kilograms per person analyzed. So, placing pork from 2018, the poultry became the premier change choice. In 2021, the annual per capita consumption of livestock and poultry meat was a, was 40, 40 84 kilograms compared with 2017 poultry and beef con consumption annual per capita per, per capita increased by at least one kilogram but pork decreased by 1.08 kilogram so from the data it's clear that there has been a shift in meat consumption pre preference from pork to poultry Looking at, the, looking at the supply side, among livestock products, pork has the high, highest self, self suffocation ratio, and the poultry is the supply meat. However, beef relies mostly on import, import result in a lower self sufficiency, sufficiency ratio for beef. So, in recent years, Taiwan's preference for meat consumption has gradually changed. Change in the external environment, such as ASF and, and the removal FMD areas or COVID 19, could all potentially influence change in consumer trend of meat and the fishery products in Taiwan. This study Based on the, uh, on the above reason, the motivation of this study led using the first order differences almost ideal demand system to estimate elastic and to analyze Taiwanese, pe Taiwanese meat price sensitivity and the change in meat demand. The meat demand system includes imported pork, domestic pork, beef, chicken, fishery products, and other meats. In research method, this study used the AIDS model to test the demand elastic of meat and the fishery products in Taiwan. It also used the first order differences method to estimate dy the dy dynamic AIDS model. The first order differences method of has often been used in analysis in recent years. The AIDS model in terms of the budget share as a question one. And P is the price index, which is defined equation two. 
In NIDS model, using the storm price index has a linear relationship between the per parameters. Con consequently, equation 3 is referred to as a linear approximate almost ideal demand system model. The NIDS model simplifies empirical estimation but is also the safety three the theoretical rejections. The adding up homogeneity and the symmetry. Through the dynamic AIDS model described above, further estimation of consumer demand elastic for each meat is conducted. Machurian demand system and demand elastic is responded by the warm price elastic and the cross price elastic. So I want to conclude my presentation with a few points. This study used the first order differences AIDS model to estimate elastic of Taiwan meat. And the data from the agricultural statistic database of the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Finance, Finance Custom Import and Export Statistics. And the sample, uh, sample consists of 36 monthly observation from January 2019 through December 2021. According to Mashurian demand elastic, then the expenditure elastic can be divided into three parts. First, in one price elastic, import pork has the highest price sensitivity and the high elastic. Means that consumers are susceptible for price improvements, and the consumers have a lower price sensitivity to domestic pork, making it less affected by price change, a result that aligns with its potential share. Second, in cross price elastic, the, the impact of beef price on the demand for import pork is the most significant and the com complementary complementary relationship among these meat types are not particularly strong. At last, in expansion elastic, the, the uh, uh, sub value is of expansion elastic of import pork, beef, and the fishery products are greater than one, which means that the meat of these three items is necessary goods. Well, domestic pork, chicken, and other meat are necessary as necessary goods. In the future, this study, this study can improve in if including the import big pigs using the pandemic and the impact of COVID-19 on deterrent and demand system. Plus, it can better reflect and the, tra the trend of Taiwan Taiwanese meat on major issues. That's all my for that's all for my presentation. Thank you everyone.